The most popular video I've done is the update on how to change your YouTube email account. And it's almost 36,000 views, and I've been getting a lot of questions on it lately, so I decided to watch it and go through the steps and try and do it to make sure it was still up to date and current and that YouTube hadn't changed anything. And I went to one of my other accounts, Mr. Something In, and I tried changing the YouTube email account associated with it from Mr. Something In at gmail.com to Mr. Something In at charter.net. And I worked on it in my spare time for about three days, uh, you know, a couple hours a day, trying different things. And it appears you cannot change the YouTube email account any longer. Uh, I'm I had done a longer video and I cut it down and so I'm gonna pick up in the middle and show you where what I did, where I left off and how you can get around not being able to change your YouTube email account. So I logged into my YouTube account, clicked on YouTube settings, went to the email tab over on the left, clicked on that, down at the bottom it said click here to go to Google Plus to change your email settings and did that and now I'm, this is the page and what you're looking at is I've already done it they originally just said Mr. Something In at gmail.com and that was the only address there so I clicked the add thing and did the verify thing and now it says it added another one it's Mr. Something In at charter.net which is the one I attempted to use and I've chosen it to be the one that I want to use but when you go back here to YouTube, you can see it still clearly says Mr. Something In at gmail.com. And then you can see it still says Mr. Something In down here on where, where YouTube sent me to change the email. So I don't know why. I believe this is just a, um, a like a, a, if you have a problem with your, your Gmail account, this is where they'll they'll send the notification like if you need to reset something or anything it's like an emergency backup email and that's all it is it's not allowing you to change your YouTube email at all it's just a, a recovery email is what it really is but there still is a way to uh, get get your email sent to the account you want without having to log into this stupid Gmail account that you never wanted in the first place. And that is log into your your uh, the Gmail account you never wanted in the first place that's associated with your YouTube account. And you can see I'm logged into mine. And all your your primary here tab, all your Gmail Google stuff will come here. Anything else comes up here in the social tab and you can see I'm here in the first uh, three of them or so my Mojo 60 account and what I did is I played around trying to communicate between my Mojo 60 and my Mr. Something In account and all my messages came to the social tab on this Gmail account that I don't want and I don't use but not one of them came to my Mr. Something In account at charter.net that you just saw me change my address to. So what are we going to do? thing to do is, is come up here, click on the gear, come down here where it says settings, click on that, come over here where it says forwarding and POP and IMAP click on that and click add forwarding address and enter an address Mr. Something in at charter.net click next Confirm forwarding address. Click proceed. If add a a confirmation code has been sent to verify permission. Click OK. 
Now I'm going to check my Mr. Something in at Charter.net account. There's my confirmation code. And it says, Mr. Something in has. Sorry, I forget it's off screen. Mr. Something. Mr. Something in has requested an automatic forward mail to your email address. Mr. Something in at Charter.net. Confirmation code. And there's the number. Double click it. Copy it. Control C. Go back to this page. Paste in the code. Hit verify. Okay. And now it says disable forwarding. Or you want to choose this, I believe. Forward a copy of incoming mail to Mr. Something in at charter.net. There's a drop down menu because you can actually add more than one. You can add others if you want to. So forward a copy of incoming mail to Mr. Something in at charter.net and keep Gmail's copy in the inbox. Mark Gmail's copy as read. Archive Gmail's co copy. Delete Gmail's copy. It's up to you. I'm just going li to leave it in there. Doesn't matter. And then you got to come down the bottom here and click Save Changes. And up at the top in the pink bar, it says, You are forwarding your email to Mr. Something in a charter.net. This notice will end in seven days. So, you're stuck with the crappy Gmail account, it looks like, from now on. You used to be able to change them. All the ones that I uh, changed a long time ago show the changed address in the YouTube uh, settings, and they always get their emails on time. This one didn't. So it looks like you're stuck from now on with the keeping the crappy email address. But you can set it up here one time and you never have to deal with this account again. It'll go to the address you want. Now let's test everything we just did. On the right hand side of the screen here, I've opened up and written an email from one of my other accounts. Uh, and that's my take on it at charter.net. And I'm sending an email from that account to Mr. Something In at gmail.com, the one we I don't want to use and that's going to be forwarded to my Mr. Something In at charter.net account. So I'm going to click send and now it's being sent to my Gmail account. I'm over here and this is the inbox for my Mr. Something In at charter.net account. I'm going to hit refresh and there's the email. Split second. So that's the way around not being able to change your email. Just set it up to forward it to any any account you want to use. And you never have to log into the Gmail account or check it again. It'll come right up in the account you want to use. Super fast. <laughs> That's it for this one. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. If you liked it, give it a please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Good luck. Bye.